for those who are new here welcome and don't forget to subscribe and for those who are joining me once more thank you and don't forget to comment and share with your friends in today's video I'll be discussing some misconceptions about teaching English in Japan okay so let's begin misconception number one you must be able to speak Japanese that is definitely not true when I left Jamaica for Japan I only knew a few Japanese words such as konnichiwa, ohaya gozaimasu hi I hardly knew any Japanese well it makes your life a lot easier and you can communicate better and meet more friends it is really not a requirement I wish I knew to speak Japanese of course but it's still a misconception you don't need to know how to speak Japanese in order to apply for an English teaching job in Japan second misconception you have to have a degree in English or an English teaching degree or a teaching degree those are all misconceptions it doesn't matter what area you have your degree in you can go ahead and apply for an English teaching job in Japan as long as you have a first degree and you are a native English speaker and have a clean criminal record you can apply the third misconception is you must have a TE FL certificate and that is teaching English as a foreign language certificate that is not true I did not have that when I was applying with Interac and I know a lot of persons who don't have a TEFL certificate having a TEFL or TEFL makes you more marketable but it's not really a requirement if you don't have it you can still apply for an English teaching job in Japan misconception is rural means cheap that is not always the case while sometimes rural areas are a little cheaper in terms of rent it's not always the case sometimes it's just as expensive as the city areas or urban areas rural doesn't always mean cheap or inexpensive because you'll still be paying the same amount for electricity if you're using the same amount of electricity as someone in the city sometimes you might have cheaper rent but that's about it or you may get like some cheaper food or ground provision but that's basically about it rural doesn't always mean cheap you may get cheaper rent but probably that's where the difference is. misconception number five you will be the main teacher that is definitely not the case in most cases you'll be working with a JTE if you're in high school or middle school junior high you'll be working with a JTE which is a Japanese teacher of English if you're in the elementary school system you'll be working with a HRT which is a homeroom teacher sometimes elementary school do have JTE but they are usually the main teacher and they're usually the T1 and your T2 so they're responsible for making lesson plans deciding what is going to be taught and controlling the class you're just there to do the parts of the lesson that they assign to you. In some cases, the JTE or the HRT and the ALT uh, come together and decide what is going to be taught and what part of the lesson the JTE will do and the HRT will do. Sometimes that's even sent, that's even already made in pre-prepared lesson plans because sometimes depending on the textbooks that the teachers use they come with lesson plans and it specifies the HRT will do this and the ALT will do this and those are the textbooks that they usually follow so you'll definitely not be the main teacher in some cases uh, 
DLT is T1, but Japan is moving away from the LT being T, sorry, T1 when in English class and moving to the HRT being T1. So before I came to Japan, I heard that the LT was T1, but they're just moving away from that. So the LT is now T2. So don't expect to be the main teacher. This will hurt some trained teachers I know. It's not really a big problem for me, but don't expect it. It may happen because it has happened to me. In one of my school, I am the T1. I have, I'm told what to prepare, but I am in full control of that lesson. I just prepared and I show it to the JTE and they say, hey, that's okay, or you need to change this, or this is too hard. But in one of my schools, I am the T1. In others, I am T2. I just do what the JT needs me to do. I'm a high school teacher, by the way, and usually I just do reading practice with my students or teach them to pronounce new words. <laughs> For instance, I'll be like, uh, carpenter they're like carpenter I'm also expected to be the fun teacher I'm expected to come with exciting games fun games fun activities that's activities that make English fun and make the students want to participate for instance uh, I have been doing a synonym activity for the last two weeks with one of my school. So they're learning about synonym and after that I have to play a game, a bingo game or something with them with the new words that they've learned or something. But it's all about making English fun in most cases. And every situation is different. This might not be your situation. This might not be your friend situation. But in most cases you will be T Two because Japan is moving away from the LT being T. Misconception number six is you have to be a recent graduate or you have to be very young. This is definitely not the case. I've seen persons in their 50s here as working as LTs, I've seen persons in their 40s, and I've seen young younger persons, persons who have recently graduated uh, from college or university but persons have this thought that you have to be very young or you have to be a recent graduate that is not the case but if you just want to change want to quit your job and travel for a year and do some other things this is a good opportunity you don't have to be a recent college graduate you don't have to be in your 20s, you don't have to be in your 30s. As long as you are interested in teaching English, you can apply. Finally, misconception number seven, and this is that you will have one or two schools. That's not the case. I have six schools, I have six high schools that I rotate during the month. During the week when I am not scheduled for my high school, I may have to go and substitute at an elementary school because we have what is known as work day. So if the company calls, you will ha definitely have to go and substitute at a school if they need you. I know persons who have one school or two schools, but it's not a must. You may have three schools, you may have four schools, you may have five schools, you may have six schools like I do. I've heard of persons who have eight schools. All right, so that is it for misconceptions about teaching English in Japan. If you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.